In this lesson, you will learn how to create a Cucumber test runner for your Gherkin test in ELM Octane. If you are having a pipeline in ELM Octane which executes your Cucumber test projects and all the tests attached to it, in some cases you may want to not execute the whole pipeline because it could be it uh, that it contains a lot of test cases. Yeah. You just would like to execute a subset um, of the pipeline test cases which are um, running as part of your Cucumber project and you would like to trigger it from ELM Octane. So that's the reason why um, Octane provides the possibility to register test runners for a Cucumber test um, or Gherkin test, um, namely in ELM Octane, in order to execute the test cases completely independent from the pipeline which is registered in Octane. So let's start um, with the registration of your test runner, uh, which will execute your Cucumber test um, in your Maven project. In order to do so, let's go to your Jenkins server, create a new job, and let's name it, um, it will be May, let's say Cucumber Test Runner. It's a freestyle project, and let's say Add to Current View, okay. And now the first thing I need to do is I need to um, create here this project uh, is uh, parameterized and add a parameter of type string and this parameter is called tests to run and this is needed in order to allow Octane to send the test cases uh, using this parameter to Jenkins and Jenkins will redirect those again to Maven. So now let's define the build steps. As the very first build step, what you need to do is you need to um, add the ALM Octane testing framework converter. This is the uh, most important step. Without this, it will not work. Your pipeline can be registered, but it will not execute the test cases. So this is needed. And you need to decide what framework you will use. So it will be the framework Cucumber G JVM over Maven. And now we can add a uh, invoke top level Maven targets build step here. And in this goal, we need to identify, um, first of all, we have to say it should clean the project. And now we need to say cucumber, cucumber dot options equal. And we have to say here the parameter it's called tests to run converted because this framework converter will take everything which is in this parameter and convert it into this parameter yeah so and this will be then redirected to the maven properties and here we have to write then also the goal test uh, that it should execute the Maven goals. And now, as a next step, we need to provide the POM file. Add the POM file here. So that's it basically from the build steps. And now we need to um, also add two steps for the result files which are written. So we have to do it via execute batch command in my case as I'm using uh, Windows. So now let's get the path. This is the first file, which basically contains the Gherkin test results for Octane. And I will move this to the slave, where my slave is running uh, in the workspace. And now let's grab the JUnit file. The JUnit file I have entered here, which is also generated by the framework. And as a last step, I need to publish now the Cucumber test reporter. This can be blank because I'm not renaming this file. Yeah, it will be exactly matching to this uh, pattern. As well as I need to publish the 
JUnit test results. And here I need to provide again a pattern which is matching to the files which I'm providing. It will be only one file which is moved to this workspace and um, it should be recognized using this. Let's say we add here one more uh, using this pattern. So once this is done, we can save it. So now it is saved. Let's go back now to Octane in order to register this pipeline as a test runner. So now let's go to Octane, click on Spaces, select the correct project. It's my testing project. And here on the project, go to DevOps section, select Test Runners. On the test runner, now add a new test runner, which is the Cucumber uh, test runner. I will write down Cucumber. And here my Jenkins server, which is registered, <clears throat> as well as I need to select the job which I have created here. And that's basically it. Once I've registered it, it should be added into the configuration of Octane. Let's go back to Octane. So in Octane, let's first go to the pipelines module. And in the pipelines module, you can see I have here this Cucumber Maven test project as a pipeline, which contains four test cases. And now let's assume this would be um, 100 or 400 test cases. And I would just need to uh, execute a subset of those. And uh, exactly therefore, I would require a test runner. If I would run those test cases outside of a pipeline, just a subset of those, then I would require a um, test runner. So now we have defined the test runner. So let's go and create a test suite first of all. Data here. So we only see the correct types. So here I can see I have the four test cases, uh, Gherkin test cases. So let's say I would uh, like to execute only this one. Then I can see. And this is Cucumber suite. Add and edit. And now you will see that the test is already in. And I have here a column called test runner. This test runner, I need to select exactly uh, the runner which I have just created. And I also, and this is very important for um, Gherkin Suite runs, you need to make sure that here you select automatically in order to allow this test automatically. Otherwise, it's also possible, and let me show you quickly. This test can be executed manually. So if you run it here in manual mode, then it will occur exactly like a normal manual test, but in Gherkin format, and you can execute it and say stop. So once this is done, you can see here on the Gherkin test itself that there are a few runs. Runs which is Gherkin run, which is which is coming from the pipeline, and the manual run which I've just executed. And I would like to run this test using the test runner automatically. And therefore you need to set this flag to automatically. And once this is done, you can hit the run button and now the test will be executed automatically. So here you can see the test runner is initialized and will run now. Let's go here to see if something is happening or maybe we are already too late. I can see Internet Explorer has started. It's a very easy way to really run Gherkin test out of ALM Octane um outside of a pipeline. So now this is completed. And we can go back into Octane. I can see the pipeline is finished. So very soon also the status of the test will be updated. Here we can see the test is updated as well. So um, this is how you can create a test runner for your cucumber test um, based on Maven. 
and execute it uh, separately outside of a pipeline using the test suites in ELM Octane. Uh, 